Hey dudes. Today I want to talk about how to use the signal generator in Pro Tools to create a signal or tone. And I also want to do a fun little hearing experiment to see how high of a frequency you guys can hear. So let's jump right into it. All right, so we're going to go to Audio Suite Other, and then we're going to select Signal Generator. So cool, that's what it looks like. And then basically to get this to work, we're going to need to render this into basically a blank audio clip. So let me show you how to do that. So really you just need to make a selection with the selector tool and then it's shift option three and that is called consolidate clip or you could go to edit and consolidate clip and that is where you will find it in the menu. Okay. So just make sure you have that clip selected and we can either render to make the tone that we want or we can just preview it by hitting the little preview processing button here. So that for example is a 1000 Hertz tone at negative 20 dB. So some other useful tones would be white noise or pink noise. You can select whatever you want. So here is a square. Here is a sawtooth, like an old video game. So you can really get in here and change the type of signal you're going to generate. Sine wave is the classic one. And then you can just change the frequency, for example. So I'll do a lower frequency by dragging it down. And then let's say you wanted a 500 hertz tone. Yep, love that. You could then render it into this clip, for example, and it will forever be that tone. I'll just undo that. And we can do our fun little hearing experiment now. All right, I am going to crank this all the way to the right but first i will show you the left which is 20 hertz and then all the way to the right is 20,000 hertz so that is what is said a human can hear we do of course experience hearing loss of frequencies in our life so this little experiment will be to figure out if you can hear all the way up to 20,000 or where your hearing kind of kicks back in. I think mine is about 15,000 or so. So I'm missing a few frequencies where I literally cannot hear them, but let's see what you guys can hear. So let's start at 20,000. So confirming this is playing, but for my ears right now, I cannot hear anything. Can you guys hear anything? How about now? I'm just moving the frequencies lower and lower. Still not really hearing anything from me personally. Maybe starting to get a little something there. Can you guys hear that? Okay, that kicks in big time for me there. That's a very high frequency, of course. I didn't really actually hear a lot of those other frequencies, so I heard a little something, but this is my first true frequency I'm hearing.
Cool. So you guys get the idea. Probably uh, most of us can hear 10,000 hertz or 10K. Uh, and then just for fun, let's go to the other end of the, the scale here and just hear what 100 hertz sounds like. So it's a very low frequency. A thousand is the classic bars and tones, two pop, anything like that. And then we heard what 10,000 was. So there you go. All right. So that is how you create a signal or a tone in Pro Tools. You know, this could be useful if you're an engineer and you're checking a room and you're using pink noise or white noise. This could be useful in post-production if you need to create tones to go along with the bars or a two pop or anything like that. And then of course you can just have fun with this. If you're making music or something like that, you can just create a pure tone or maybe use that sawtooth or square to get that old school video game feel. And this is a way for you just to create a pure frequency from scratch and use it however you want. So I hope you have some fun or you're productive with this signal generator. And until next time, later dudes.